Hello and welcome to a brand new adventure and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm here at Flamingoland in North Yorkshire so we'll see you in the park. So here we are we're in the park and uh, we just had to go through a bit of a palaver to get our chest harnesses all signed off. Apparently it's, it's a new thing that the park's doing. You used to be able to just film on the rides without any question but now you've got to wear a chest harness and you've got to have it checked at the gate by the security team. So make sure if you come into vlog at Flamingo Land and film on the rides, you have a chest harness and you come and get it checked before you come in. We've got a slip that we have to show on the rides as well. But our first ride today is going to be Sick, which is the brand new ride for 2021. Funny thing is, it's never been on it, but it's got the clothing already. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Wearing, I'm wearing Sick Silk, which yeah. sponsor the ride, and I've never been on the damn ride. Anyway, this is Andy. Am I'm I sure on the telly? You're on the telly, hey, mate. I'm finally. sure you know who he is. Yes, hello everyone. Coast Subscribe <laughs> if you haven't already. Yeah, yeah. Coast the Crazy. Just turned up. And Mark's here as well <laughs> from the Pleasure guys? Beach. We, we've been with Mark a few times at the Pleasure Beach. And Stephen over there, and Lisa. Hello. And we've got, we've got a dog in the park, so we've got Tilly. Andy and Lisa's dog, Tilly. How cute. Look at that. <laughs> and this is one of the only parks in the UK that allows dogs in, so it's fantastic and you can bring the dogs. So. To be honest, I think it's the only theme park in the UK that yeah. allows dogs. It's, it's brilliant. I was saying that on the way here. This could potentially be one of the best theme parks in the UK for the accessibility the and it. dogs and yeah. filming on rides and everything. Yeah, it's great. So we're going to go on Sick, which is the 10 inversion coaster, which I haven't been on, but it is a clone of Colossus at Thorpe Park, which I have been on With many lap times. Bars. With Don't lap forget bars. the lap bars. Slightly different layout as well, only slightly. It's a modern version. But it's yeah. a Rev, Rev B model, so it's the, the um, updated version of Colossus. He knows his stuff, And Andy. it's much better. Good. Yes. I hate Colossus, it's a bit rough. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you on the ride. Right, let's go. I think it's going to be a really quiet day today. The park is so quiet. There's only probably 50 cars in the car park and the overspill car park is completely empty. So it's going to be a good day and it's going to be clear as well, no rain. So I think we might get plenty of rides in. But like I said, we are allowed to film on all the rides here. So you're going to get a lot of POVs on the rides and you're going to get to hear me scream. <laughs> so I've never been on sick. I'm looking forward to it. Safety and the safety of others, please ensure to remove your yourself to the safety of the Any other questions? Here we go. Off we go. Been looking forward to this. Oh, you gotta love it, mate. Yeah, Off we go. Back row. Woohoo! Colossus, much, much better. So, just come off sick. Verdict, very, very good. A very high contender for one of the best rides in the UK, especially the best roller coaster. Not the, but probably up there with the top three anyway. I'd say for me, it's tied with Nemesis and Icon up there. But it is really good, very, very smooth. And it's got lap bars, no overhead restraints. So it's so free. You don't feel like, well, you do feel like you're going to fall out, but you don't feel like you're going to smash your head going round, which is amazing. If you go on Colossus at Thorpe Park, it's so rattly and it's just a headbanger. That is something else. It's so smooth. I mean, it is new, but it's so smooth. And 
the lap bars just make it 10 times better straight away. And, and I tell you what, no queue in there. We just literally got out and went straight back round again. It was absolutely fantastic. But there was a little rattle on the train at the back, um, like a little bit of vibration. It didn't hurt or do anything major. It's just a little bit of a rattle. I mean, I know that it's quite normal on roller coasters these days. But yeah, thumbs up from me, top ride. I suppose you could say sick was sick. And I've got the merch. I can't believe you just said that, Darren. I know. <laughs> so I'm not sure where we're going next, but um, we do know that Velocity, the booster bike, the Vicoma booster bike coaster, is actually closed today, which is a shame. Because I love that ride. It's, it's got a good launch on it. If you don't know what it is, it's the red one in front here. This one. Yeah, that's closed today, which is a shame. I know it's been closed all week. I think they're waiting for a part from the manufacturer. Now, I did say a minute ago, that sick was brand new it's brand new to the park but it's not a new ride it's actually over 10 years old because another park i think it was in malaysia or brazil or somewhere like that bought it and it was sat there for 10 years unbuilt they never built it and the park went bankrupt so from england bought it as a second hand ride but it had never been built so technically it is new but anyway from one of the best coasters in the uk to one of the worst coasters in the uk that's closed. Oh, good. I'm not bothered about that one. It's closed. Yes. I have been on this many times, Hero. It is one of the roughest, most torturous rides ever. We do agree. Yeah, and Digital Dan's coming and riding it all day next week. Oh, God. He's a nutter. I hope you've got a paracetamol's pack, Dan. And he's a very nice <laughs> lad as well. I really enjoyed spending the day with him at Leesyburg. Get your paracetamol's out. You're going to need them, mate. So we've just had a... Saving Grace, Hero is actually down. It's broken. <laughs> yes. There's actually guys there as we speak doing some repairs on it. Now it might open. If it does, I will go on it. I'll, I'll do it just for you, but I don't want to. It's awful. So I think we might go on the uh, cliffhanger now, which is the shot and drop, shot and drop ride. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good SNS tower, isn't it? The best in the UK. Best in the UK, as Andy said, it is. It is. And, uh, I've noticed the uh, Coupland's bakery's oh, gone as well. Oh, that was it, Coupland's? I can't yeah. remember its name. It's an arcade now. It's an arcade, it's gone. Yeah. It used to be good, that. So, we're going to go on Cliffhanger, which is about to set off now. <laughs> Arms out. <laughs> Here we go! Oh, what a view! What a lovely view! All across North Yorkshire and towards Pickering. Not Ronnie Pickering. Oh, Ronnie Pickering! Oh, Ronnie Pickering! So we're going up now and it's going to hold us at the top. Here we go, we're going to drop. <laughs> Definitely the best drop tower in the UK. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the best it tower ride. Now. It is now, yeah. yeah. So we just come off our ride on Cliffhanger. It is an awesome tower, that. Definitely the best SNS tower in the UK. Probably the best drop tower we've got now. Because Definitely. there's detonator at Thorpe Park, and uh, my favourite, Apocalypse at Drake Manor, is gone. But well, what about the one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach? That's the best one in the country. Well, that's a shot tower, not a drop tower. <laughs> But yeah, it's good. It's a really good ride, is that? Especially the views at the top. So I think we're going to go on Mumbo Jumbo now, which is the SNS. I always forget what they call them. El Loco. El Loco. That's it. Thanks, Mike. SNS El Loco. Very unique in the UK. But in Yorkshire, we call it Mumbo Jumbo. Oh, Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. Oh, you're an Northerner. You should say Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. <laughs> he lives in the south now, pretends to be yeah. a southerner, but he's not, he's yeah. a northerner. Northerner, yeah. Mumbo Jumbo. Go on, Mark, you say it in your accent. <laughs> My Geordie accent, Mumbo Jumbo roller coaster. Mumbo Jumbo roller coaster. That's how I really talk about. <laughs> I love it. Enjoy, lads. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> he's on the telly now. He's on the telly. <laughs> I just asked the lad here about on my film and how they started checking people's GoPros at the end of last season. 
Right, uh, here we go. So I've been on this quite a few times. Not for a while though. Very unique. That is awesome. And this bit. Hang time! Oh. Oh. <laughs> now this bit I don't like. <laughs> oh. Oh. Shoulder pain! Oh. 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 <laughs> shoulder shoulder pain. <laughs> It's good though. So we've done mumbo jumbo. It were re it were really good actually. Very smooth, very nippy as you saw. But um, a bit jolty on that last bend. But other than that, fantastic. So I think we're going to go on Kamali now, which is the Vekoma SLC. Probably the best one in the UK, to be fair. It's actually not too bad. The other ones can be a bit, especially Infusion, can be a bit jolty and a bit. Um, Head bangy. Not this. It's, well, it does, but not as bad as the others. Silly. Silly. Hello. It's the mm. <laughs> I've never seen Flamingo Land this quiet before. Every time I've been, it's been reasonably busy, if not packed or rammed. But I mean, it is midweek and it's not holidays. So it's definitely quiet today, which is brilliant. And it's warm, so I can't complain. There you go. So this lift hill is a lot bigger than what you think when you're on it. It doesn't look it off ground on the ground, but when you get up here, it's a lot higher than what you think, as you'll see in a minute. And the first drop is awesome, especially the G's at the bottom. And I think this whole area here, right in front, is probably the best themed area in this park by a mile. And then over there, it gets a bit more tacky. Here we go, almost there. So much higher than what you think. Here we go. That's, that is the best SLC, definitely. The only downside with this ride is they run it on one train every time. They have got two, but they, they alternate them every year. So they only run one at a time, which is a pain for a queue. It's not, it doesn't matter today, it's so quiet, but normally, if it's busy, you'll wait ages for this. And you don't need to. So we've just gone straight back round again. We didn't even go out the station, we just got on the back row. So we're right on the back now, so it's gonna drag us straight off the drop. Let's try it here, see if it's rough here. Straight off. Oh yeah. Whoa! Yeah, that's good at the back. Better at the back, isn't it? Definitely better. It's a bit rougher, but it's better. G's on that, I nearly blacked out on the loop. Kamali, done, tick. Definitely the best SLC in the UK. Well, in fact, the best suspended, no, no, it's not the best suspended Nemesis, but it is a really good suspended coaster. And I didn't find it too rough. The back row was definitely the better row. It, 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 definitely more intense at the back anyway. I think this area here is the best themed area in the whole park. A lot of it is quite tacky, but here, the African section, reminds me of Bush Gardens in Tampa. 
They need to sort the theming out. They need to section off the areas because this is so good with it being on the lake and everything. But then you get you come out here and you can see all the water rides here and the like the bold colours. They need to section it off here, maybe some massive hedges or something. And just try keep it in its own areas. I think Flamingoland's got potential to be one of the best parks in the UK. It really has. I mean, coaster-wise, it's not too bad already, but it's just a bit tacky. We just need to spend a little bit more money on it, just tidying it up and, you know, moving things a little bit. And they did it years ago. They went from a car park with fairground rides in to a theme park, and they did upgrade, but they just never quite pulled it off 100%. And I think now they've got the money to just add that little bit extra and make it one of the best parks in the UK because at the minute it's kind of borderline. So we've opted for a ride on the Choo Choo around the park. I think we're only going halfway. We're gonna go up to the zoo and then get off. Um, because we've got the dog with us, we've got Tilly, so we, need to, we have to get off at the zoo because you can't take dogs in the zoo, apparently. I don't know why, but there you go. Anyway, I'll catch up with you later. So Andy, Andy needs the credit on this little uh, kiddies go gator here. I said if, he, if we can get on it, I'll go on it as well. Oh, but he needs yeah. the credit. I've already got this when I was a kid. I'm gonna give it a whirl. So Mark's just asked. It was a firm no. It's only for children. Children only. Never mind. Well, I don't need the cred, but Andy does. Uh, I think Andy's been on it before at another park anyway, so yeah. he's probably already had the cred. Never mind. I'm up buffered. <laughs> we'll go to the next one anyway, let's see where we're going next. Go on an adult ride next. Yeah. So we've decided to go on Pterodactyl, which is the uh, chair swing ride, which goes up there. I'm not a fan of these rides, I absolutely hate them, because I'm scared of heights. I don't mind in a roller coaster, but sitting on this, spinning round, being tortured, not for me. I'm, I'm scared of heights. I'm going to go on it anyway. You are? Yeah. But you go on these things like nothing. I'd rather tower crane for a living. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> I did I did one of these on top of Stratosphere in Vegas, yeah, and that was the scariest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm going to brave it. We're on it. Andy doesn't like heights either. I, I don't mind them. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean, yeah, he, he drives tower cranes well, for a living. Put it this way, my crane is 65 metres tall in London, which is exactly the same height as the big one in Blackpool which is 213 feet. But you're in a nice warm cab yeah, with yeah. a little heater. With air conditioning as well. On this, it's just a little flimsy plastic seat with a little metal bar. And uh, yeah, anyway, here we go. Let's brave it. Well, I can safely say that was horrible. Mm -hmm. Never again. <laughs> no. It spins a lot. It's too spinny for me. Yeah. And yeah, just not a fan. Not of heights anyway. You were all right though, weren't you? It's alright, cold. Well, I've just checked the footage back and it didn't work. Apparently, I think it cut off as I was going up, I don't know why. GoPros for you. So we've come on the uh, Kiddie Gator coaster. <laughs> All three of us, three adults, sat on it. <laughs> Let's give it a whirl, why not? It's, it's quiet. It's going from one Kiddie coaster to the next. This used to be American Adventure, if you didn't know. It's this right? So I've been on it before. Yeah, so technically I've got the credit on here already um, from American Adventure when it was called something like the Mini Mine Train but anyway, it's so quiet, we're just going on and we're just lapping the rides, why not? So we're going to go on uh, Zoom now which is another kids ride It's quite a unique one this because I've never seen one of these before anywhere else um, but it is a kid credit, I have, again I've got the credit on this but it's a bit of a squeeze in these seats but Andy uh, and Mark are in the one in front and I've had to come on my own because it's just such a squeeze. <laughs> I mean, the are for kids really. But it's a Zamperla ride and apparently there's only five of these in the world. And only one custom version which is here. I never thought I'd say it but even this is janky. It's really rattly and wobbly. <laughs> I don't remember it to be honest. Not very good. Again, it is a kiddies ride but... You'll see it janking around the corner. Are you ready? It's going to jolt here now. Ouch. And again. Ouch. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> Get rid. We've just had some really nice food and I highly recommend the uh, Fortune to Go over here. 
opposite hero. It was actually really nice. Didn't eat all mine. Yeah, fish and chips and gravy. No, chips and just chips. And chips gravy. and gravy. Chips and gravy for the Morgan. But the uh, Chinese were very good. Good value and it tasted really nice. The theme park food was good. Unfortunately, Hero has reopened, so that means we're going to have to go on it. So I'm going to take you on for a POV. You're going to hear me scream in pain. Let's get on, Hero. So check it out how you get into it. So you're going to climb up this little ladder here and just lay down. Let's try and get the GoPro in as well. Here we go. Up the windy spiral lift up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's rough already, we haven't even got up the lift hill yet. Uh, it's not the roughness, it's so uncomfortable. Yeah. It's like being in a cage and thrown around. Hamster wheel. The hamster wheel, that's a good one. <laughs> and I'm going to rattle around in here. Oh my god, I hate this thing. Oh, here we go. Come on, we have to do it. The, we do it for the viewers. For the views, isn't it? Think of the views. Oh god, here we go. Oh. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh god! Oh! It's not, some of it's not that bad. Yeah, though. bits of it. That bit. Oh! It's the bends. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. Lock it down. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Jesus, bitch! Get me off it. Oh, never again. <laughs> say that every time. Say never again. <laughs> off it while it's still moving. I know. <laughs> That is weird. You've got to get off it while it's still moving through the station as well. I can't believe it. We've come up here, though, and the sun's out. It's been cold all day. Well, not cold, but it's been miserable. It's lovely now. So, definitely the worst coaster in the UK, bar none. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. I agree. The most horrific roller coaster I've ever been on. Apart from maybe one or two, that's the worst one in the UK, bar none. It's not as bad as mine, but we're at full spot in Kizzle, man. Oh, well, they're retracking it, aren't they? When I, it, when I went on that, it was brand new. So it yeah, was I nice. did, yeah, I did it brand new, but yeah, everyone complained last year yeah. that it was that bad they started retracking it. So, you can't really do much with these. No, I mean... It's not the track on this, is it? It's the, it's the trains. To be fair, some of it is actually OK. Yeah. It's just it's just awkward and uncomfortable. That's the only thing that's wrong with it, really. Yeah, it's just, it's just not well designed. Um, I mean, it's well, it's Aunt Mailer, isn't it? None of that stuff's well designed. But I bet it was cheap. Yeah, <laughs> it would be cheap. But yeah, it's just, it's not for uh, not for me. And for uh, for your history buffs, yeah. the uh, wild mouse that used to be here, sat in this area, that's now at Pleasurewood Hills. As uh, marble marble Marbles. madness. madness, yeah. Still yet to go to Pleasurewood Hills. Not been there for years. Yeah, just horrible. I mean, look at that lift hill, the spiral lift hill. Whose idea is that? It's just really uncomfortable. But anyway, let's go on a proper ride. So this for me is the best themed area in the whole park, especially with the pirate ship. It's well themed that, I do like that. Sat on the lakeside. Even the signage is good. And then we've got the Lost River water ride, which we said we weren't going on, but now we are. <laughs> so we're about to Go on this ride. I haven't been on this for a long time, but the sun's out. I think we should drive pretty quick. Let's give it a go. So you can get a before shot now, and then I'll show you what I look like afterwards. <laughs> Not going to be pleasant, I'm sure. Oh no! Poor little kid on there is absolutely fuming. I've got the. Got the handy dandy poncho. Oh, he gets us to go on it and then he brings a poncho. That's how it works. Poncho in his bag. It was his idea to come on it. <laughs> I don't know why. We've been on it about 15 
We won't be smiling in a minute. <laughs> Well, those smiles are going to be wiped off your faces in a minute. Oh, no. We're head down there. Okay, so people behind have got water coats on. Can they see us? Yeah. Oh no, what are we doing? Look how high up we are. It is quite high, isn't it? Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 this is the slowest bit now. Uh, are they I'll see you at the drop. Oh, no. So we're nearly here now. Get ready to hear some grown men scream. <laughs> I'm wet, I'm wet. Off the props working. We're going. We're gonna get absolutely drenched. Yeah, what a picturesque view. Jesus! Oh, it's like a tidal wave! Oh my god! Oh, I'm getting wet, I'm, I'm getting more wet! There you go! Oh no! My legs are soaked! Look at that! I kept my feet up though. Oh, oh, god. That was uh, quite wet, but at least it'll cool us down. Oh, well, I didn't think you'd get that wet on it. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the after shot of what we look like. Look at this. Bad choice to wear grey today. Like a weed, me Yeah, look like we're Peter Sons. Look, I had a poncho on, so I'm quite dry. He, yeah, he's yeah. alright. First time, Andy, what did you think? Oh, no, it's got a wet foot. Uh, yeah, one of the wettest rides in the UK. <laughs> I didn't think he'd actually got that wet, to be honest, but yeah, I'm Apart soaked. from Valhalla. Apart from Valhalla, yeah. But it, it's not a bad ride, it's... Yeah, it's quite slow, but I mean, it's a good fun ride. Though, I don't, isn't it? I don't think it'll last. Yeah, it's a good fun ride. I don't think it'll last long here, though. I think another few well, years. Well, they said uh, they, they told us basically they, they took the roof off because it was slowing the boats down. Um, the wind. With the it? wind, and he said they'd only had two years left in its lifetime. But now they're taking the roof off. It's got another ten years to go. Oh, get the roof back on. Yeah, <laughs> get the roof back. Get it, get it demolished. Pull the thing down. <laughs> Give us a Pull it this. down. No, it's all right. It's not a bad ride. It's it's yeah. pleasant. It's it's chilled. It's quite well themed. It's nice. It's just yeah, <laughs> just a bit. Mm. You wouldn't queue an hour for it. No, you wouldn't queue an hour for it. I but you normally say do. It was the third wettest ride in the UK yeah. after Valhalla and Stormforce. Oh, Stormforce. Oh no, maybe the fourth, and then you got Tidal Wave at Thorpe as well. Yeah. I got that. Yeah. <laughs> I backed off. Oh, again. <laughs> oh, man. I saw it So we've just done three rides on sick towards the end of the day. It was just walk on. So we just literally went round. We just stayed in the station. We just got off, got back on, got off, got back on. Uh, I did the front row, the back row, and then near the front. And I've got to say the front row is definitely by far the best or near the front of the train in general. The back row has got a bit of a rattle on it and it's a bit um, vibratey. It's not very good, but what a fantastic ride that is. It is sick, I've got to say. And uh, we've had a fantastic day today, we really have. I can't believe how quiet it is. Last time I came here, it was just so busy. And then today, it's just dead. There's still an atmosphere, but it's dead. It's great. 
Well, I think that's it. I think we're done. It's not quite five o'clock yet, but I think we've done everything we want to do, haven't we? The question is, do you feel sick? I feel sick. That was sick. Sick. <laughs> We did three rides. Didn't three we? rides in a row. Back to back. In total, we've done 50 inversions yeah. on that today. 50 yeah. on just that one ride. Crazy. Yeah. Awesome. But it's been an amazing day, hasn't it? It's been really good. good and it's been really quiet, which has been the best part of it. So we've got on everything many times. I think it's probably the best day I've ever had at Flamingo Land. Yeah, me too. Especially because it's my birthday, but and because of birthday. these guys as well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, a big thanks to Andy and Mark for tagging along today. <laughs> they made me. So, a big thanks to these guys for joining us in the vlog. Check out Coaster Crazy on YouTube if you love your theme parks and roller coasters. And, and one, one last thing before I go if you are a part of the European Coaster Club, you do get 50% off your entry ticket as well, so bear that in mind. Well, thanks to Andy, yeah. I did. <laughs> and also, Disney Mark. Disney on... Mark on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. There you go. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you in the next video next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.